Recently, I was reading in the food lab about potatoes and starch, in particular with mashed potatoes. Almost everybody I know loves mashed potatoes, but he brought up two really interesting points that I think could improve mashed potatoes for everybody. As potatoes cook, the cells break down, releasing more starch. If we want mashed potatoes that are light, fluffy, and will hold their shape, we need to incorporate as little starch as possible. So I will peel and slice these potatoes into about half inch chunks. The first trick to cut down on the starch in the mashed potatoes is to rinse the potatoes before putting them in the pot to boil. This washes off as much starch as we can before they cook. Unlike pasta, don't salt your water. This will cause the potatoes to take on a greenish gray look and be less appetizing. The potatoes will need to boil for 15 minutes. Longer than that, the cells will break down more, releasing more starch. And too short, the potatoes will be too hard to mash. Here, I accidentally leaned on the too short side, but it is what it is. While the potatoes boil, you want to microwave your milk and butter so that they are warm and melted before they go in the mashed potatoes. The other trick for better potatoes is to add something with flavor. Some people will add whole garlic cloves as the potatoes are boiling, which once mashed will disintegrate. To add more of a base to the mashed potatoes, I'm going to add chicken bouillon to the milk which will also reduce the amount of salt that we need to add later. This needs a little more experimenting. I think I should have added a little bit more. Trick number two to avoid starch in our final mashed potatoes is we're going to give them a second rinse after they come out. Although this time it will be with the hardest water your sink can manage. The last trick to improve mashed potatoes is all about how you mash them. I've always thought the best way to mash potatoes is to use one of these food mills, but because my potatoes were a little underdone, it ended up just clogging it and not working. The next best approach is the good old fashioned masher, but anything should work as long as you don't blend it. That will make the potatoes go sticky and gummy and really ruin your mashed potatoes. This is because we want to avoid over mashing the potatoes, which will end up releasing more starch than we want in our potatoes. As all the ingredients come together, salt and pepper to taste. And there you have a few tricks to improve your mashed potatoes. And don't forget to top with a little bit more butter.